Hi and welcome to McGun Media. In this short video clip I'm going to be talking to you about the necessity of putting the right props for the right product together. In this example, obviously Easter is coming up, so we have here a, a variety of eggs. So normal eggs without any patterns on them and then we have uh, several of these craft eggs that we've already put a pattern to them. Now, the props that we put together for the plain eggs as opposed to the props that we put together for the pattern ones are going to be very different. Although the product is the same, the patterns mean that the props are going to be entirely different. So in this case, we have these very ornate patterns on them. So I've picked a couple of very simple fabrics that I think will go with this pattern very well. Very bright, vibrant colours, so a red. And because they're eggs, I'm going to make a kind of a nest with them and a yellow to go in the middle. And I reckon that those going together will match perfectly with the patterns on the eggs. And arranged in a, in a nest type way, I think that would go particularly well. Now, on the other hand, the eggs that are quite plain, I think require a little bit of a more naturalistic approach to them. And because of that, I've picked very natural type props for them. So, I've picked a piece of material that is very textured and very natural. So I think that will go quite well. Again, you can arrange it in a kind of a nest type way. And I've literally gone out and picked some of these grass seeds. And I think scattered about the eggs, that will make a great photo with the very natural eggs. So taking the same product, two very different props are required because of the pattern that's on them. So when you come to do product photography, it's very much a case of what the product says to you as to what the props you're going to select for each product are. I hope that you found this video useful. If you have, please leave us comments in the comments box below.